So number 69. Now, the number Jackie runs, the number of runs Jackie's baseball team scored per game throughout a part of one season is shown below. Construct a box plot. So when you see box plot, think of the rhyme that I taught you that says, Mom likes my unique muffins. Okay, minimum, median, maximum, lower quartile, upper quartile. In that exact order, that will help you to construct the box plot correctly. Now, since the box plot mainly consists of finding the median, you want to, like we discussed, list these numbers from least to greatest. So I'm going to draw my line here, and I'm going to start listing them from least to greatest. I have 0, cross it out. Then I have one, cross it out. I have two, hmm. one, two twos, two, two. I have a three. I have two fours. I have a five. I have two sevens. I have an eight and I have a nine. Okay, median is outwards in, so you eliminate outwards in. This works great on graph paper, I must say. Four, four. Oh, there's two numbers in. There's two numbers left. Okay, so that makes the median four, right here. Medium is four, so my medium here becomes four. Now, what's my minimum number? What's the smallest number? Zero. What's the maximum number? Nine. Here's how you determine the, the lower and the upper quartile. You see where I drew this little line here? Technically, that represents the median. Yes, we added the two up added and divided it by two, but that number is, this is technically the number in the middle right here. So when you want to determine the lower quartile, you cover these set of data points, and then you find the median of these set of, these set of data points right here. So you're going to Again, eliminate from outwards in. There's two left. You add them up, divide it by two. Still represents the number two. Do the same on this side. Eliminate. Add them up, divide it by two. Makes the upper quartile seven. Then your rhyme here now tells you where to start your, your box plot. Okay. So I have zero. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I don't need to go past ten. Okay, so my first dot is going to be at zero. You put a dot right above zero, then you go to two. That's your first whisker from the minimum to the lower quartile. That's your first whisker. Remember, the box starts with LMU. Medium is four. Remember that the middle number, the middle line of the box plot, always represents the median. And the upper quartile is seven. Maximum number is nine, giving me, there's my box plot. Now, if you, if you spaced your numbers out, it would be different for you. If you want to take a pause, it will find the mean absolute deviation. Okay, um, let's take a look at number 70. The number of hours Linda sleeps each night for two weeks is shown. Find the mean absolute deviation, which is the MAD, rounding to the nearest whole number. Explain how this value describes the distribution of data. All right, finding the mean. You first have to find the mean of the original set of, set of data points. Okay, so I'm going to add them up, 15. That's 17. Add up my whole numbers first. This one and this one is 18. Uh, 14 plus 24 plus 8 is 32. So all these is 32. My, you have 6.5, 7.5, 9.5, and another 9.5. 20, 18, 27 plus 6. 33. So I have 18, 
17, 32, 33, wait, 18, 17, 32, 33, and 15. 15, 25, 4, 7, 10, 11. So 115. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14 numbers. So 14 into 115 can go into 11. So 14, I'm going to take a guess here. 14 times 8 is 32. 8, ooh, I'm, I'm a good guesser. Hmm. 8, so that's 112. Divided by three, I mean subtract from three. Decimal, decimal, zero goes in there twice. It's twenty-eight. It's two. Ones. Fourteen goes in there. Fifth. Four times. Fourteen times four. It's fifty-six. I'm going to leave my mean, my mad at approximately this. Okay. So now I take this 8.21. This is where you create a table, Cre create yourself a table. You're doing, then you're doing, okay. Mm. Remember, mad absolute value is an, odd, is an even number. So 8 minus 8.21 is 0 0.21. Then 7 minus 8.21 is equal to 1.20, negative 1.21, but we're going to leave it as a positive because absolute value is always positive. 6.5 minus 8.21 is equal to, let me come to the side over here, 8.21, 6.5, Twelve minus seven, one point seventy one. Then you have eight minus eight point twenty one again, which is zero point twenty one. Nine minus eight point twenty one, nine point zero zero. Nine zero point seventy nine. Then you have. 10 minus 8.21 is 1.79. Um, 7.5 minus 8.21. 9.5 minus 8.21. 8 minus 8.21, which we said is 0 0.21. 9.5 minus 8.21, 10 minus 8.21 was 1.79, 7 minus 8.21, 8 minus 8.21, 7 minus 8.21, 7, this is 1.21, sorry if you guys, sorry guys you couldn't see. Um, 0 0.21, 1.21. So we only have to do two more. So I'm going to come over here. 8.21 minus 7.5. I think it's just 0 0.71. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. 0 0.71. 9.5 minus 8.21 is 1.29. So, the tricky part here is to add them all up. Add them all up. Now, you are not allowed to have a calculator, but I'm going to do this with the calculator for the sake of time.
So if you want to look, plus 1.21, plus 1.71, plus 1.21, 1.79. I'm doing a video. 0 0.1, 1.21. Sorry, guys, that was my brother. Okay, plus. I hit equal for right now, so I don't lose it. And there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, how many did we say? 14 numbers. Fourteen. So I divide that this number by 14, making my MAD 0 0.988. Now, what does this mean? For number 70, you'd say MAD is the mean distance from each set, each data value to the mean. Here you go. The mean absolute value is the mean distance from each data value to the mean of the data set. So the number of hours hour Louis sleeps each night is an average of one hour from the average number of hours she sleeps. Okay, pause the video, try number 71, similar to the way I did that one, and then you can see here's your answer for 71. Okay. 72. The number of touchdowns scored by one football team in each game during the season is shown. What's the mean? So you're just finding the average of the touchdowns the team scored during that season. Okay. Add up the numbers. Add up all your numbers. And then divide by total numbers. Pause the video. If you haven't done this, try this on your own. When you unpause me, you will see that the answer is A. 73. Jesse asked how many magazines, descriptions each household and street had. These numbers are shown. What is the interquartile range of the data set? Okay, interquartile range is the lower, is number between the lower and the upper. So you have to do mom likes my unique muffins. List these numbers from least to greatest. How many zeros? Three, one, two, three. Cross them out. One, two, three, four ones. One, two, three twos. One, three and two fours. Okay. First, you need to find the mean. I'm sorry, median. So, x, x, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Nope, can't do that one. Man, do this. Mm, 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 mm. Median is one. So that's my median. Now for my lower quartile. Do this. There's two left. Zero plus one is one. And one divided by two is 0 0.5. So the lower quartile range is 0 0.5. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Two left, five divided by two is 2.5. So the upper quartile is 2.5. Since it's asking for the inner quartile range, 
you're subtracting 2.5 minus 0 0.5, making the inner quartile range 2. Two subscriptions. Hmm. Okay, the number of shows, show times for one movie over several days is shown. What is the mean absolute deviation? Okay, let me do that one again with you guys. The numbers are mean absolute deviations. I'm going to list my numbers. And this is my numbers, I'm going to say 9, 6, 8, 9, 7, 4, 3, 5, 2, 4. All right. So the mean, we're going to first sign the mean, then subtract the your mean from original numbers. And you're going to get new data. Then you're going to add new data and divide by total data. Okay? Step one, step two, step three, four, five. All right. So this gives me 15, 17, 11. 10 and 4. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40. Uh, 4, 5, 10, 17. 57. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 numbers divided by 10. So the mean equals 5.7. So minus 5.7 gives me. <laughs> yes, you have to do this with your own with by hand, but makes this 3.3 .3 minus 5.7 makes this 0 0.3. Five, 8 minus 5 is 3, it's 2.7. It's 2.7. See, I do my best, I do my mental math. Oopsies. That's supposed to be a 3. Yep. No. I was right. Nine minus five point seven is three point three. Seven minus five point seven is one point three. Four minus five point seven is negative one point seven, but we're gonna keep it at a positive because it's finding the absolute value distance. This is 1.7. 3 minus 5.7 is 2.7. 5 minus 5.7 is negative 0 0.7. And 2 minus 5.7 is 3.7. But it's all positive. So we're going to add them up. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 7 is 35. So you have 40, no, yeah, 40, 50, 0, 5. Okay, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 21. And again, divided by 10, because this is your new data. This is the new data that you got. We added the, the, the new data up, giving me 21, divided by the total data, which is 10, making the new absolute value 2.1. Boom. And that's our answer choice. There you go. And I'm going to stop it right here for this one.